Hey how's it going guys welcome back to the 8th video in this series mad about python and in this video we are going to learn how you make option buttons or a option drop down menu using tkinter in python and it should look something like this uh, where you have a option box where you can select uh, one of these options and just hit the submit button and that option gets displayed uh, to the root widget uh, using a label. The first 6 lines remains the same. In case you are new to this channel, this is a playlist. You can access my older videos. I have left a link in my description. Great. So to build this option menu, uh, we, we are going to use again known, something known as a python list because we have multiple uh, options to choose from. So we have multiple strings. So I'll just go ahead and create option options and you make a list by opening the square brackets so the first item will be let's go with iPhone XR second item iPhone SE third item iPhone X fourth item iPhone ten max and just we create a last item as Google Pixel. So in this option list you have the following items. Now this will become your drop down menu options great so once you have done that you will need a button so i'll go ahead and create a button and uh, i'll just name it my button and this button use button tkinter inside the root widget then you give it some text and go ahead and give it submit okay and then this button will obviously take a command I'll just leave it empty for now uh, you know what we'll just name this command as open and then as usual my button you need to uh, give the position to this button so we'll use something known as grid grid will take rows so row will be zero column let's give it two and uh, in the third video we have learned how you give padding to your buttons i'm just gonna give a little bit of padding here i'll just give 10 same way pad y i'll just give 10 great and uh, once your button is ready you need your option menu to show you a drop down of these items so for that i'll just go ahead with the variable drop and then in tkinter you have a keyword option menu now this option menu will allow you to build that button which will drop down all these items so with option menu i want this inside root and uh, i need to give it some variable here so I'll just give it click yeah click and uh, there's one more object which will come here I'll come back to this part later and again for drop also we have to use grid to position this I'm gonna go with row wait what we have used here is row 0 column 2 so we'll just use the same attribute here just copy this and paste it here but instead of giving it column 2 we'll just give it column 1 and padding remains same fine once you have done that uh, you need this open because you have given the command open we need to uh, define it so after this part I'll just define my function I go def open and then I need a label because it has to display me the output which option I have selected so I go my label 
and then give it label inside root and this text will be nothing but this click here this click because whatever I click from this menu should be displayed in the label so it will be click dot get and then we need to give the label grid grid and we'll give it row 2 column 2 give the same padding pad x 10 pad y also 10 just to give it a better shape i am going to give another attribute known as i pad x this will do nothing but give little bit space between the button and the option menu such that there will be no difficulty in reading the output so ipad x will give a little bit of space between those two it's just a just a gap filler so ipad 20 should be 20 uh, yeah 20 should be fine or let's go 30 okay so ipad x is done you have the menu what else is left yeah and uh, once you have done this you have to create a variable to access this uh, we have learned in the previous video uh, how to use string where in radio buttons and how to use integer variable so since we are using string here it's obvious we are going to use string variable so just go ahead and create a string variable I'll go with uh, clicked yeah clicked should be fine clicked string where sorry string where will be the variable okay so this is again man not mandatory uh, clicked dot set to give it a default value sort of which should be like by default selected to give user a, a better view what he is selecting or uh, give the user an idea which button to click so just give it a default value something like option because our list is option so I'll just go ahead and give the first value of this list simple python indexing so option will be 0 that's it and I have left here some space so here this will be nothing but my string variable because the drop menu will access the string variable from the list which is uh, strings so I'll go clicked and again to access what a user has clicked when you are using option menu there's a rule you have to put a star i don't know it's it's given in the tkinter documentation put a star and go ahead and put the options so what will happen is whenever a user clicks suppose iphone x that value goes to the string variable string variable again uh, in the drop down menu gets selected using the option options here and then that will be displayed by this function because once you're click clicking the submit button it is going to open I mean the command is given as open so it is going to open here and then executing this part okay so let's go ahead and run this okay we forgot to close this program so I'll go ahead root dot main loop and then we we'll go hit F5 and run this program okay so here is your program but uh, this is <laughs> okay so there's a mistake here what happened is I didn't put the commas so you have to put comma in list to separate these take care when you're creating a Python list if you don't put commas all will be displayed in the same line so we we'll go ahead and run this yeah now you have a better app here since I've given here st the index as 0 this will be showing me the first item but when I click this as you can see I can choose iPhone X summit yeah there you go there's a out output go up Google pixel summit you can go iPhone SE summit and you can see your output here so by using a Python list you can create a drop-down menu and uh, 
yeah so that's all for now see you in the next one